How to create real estate through numbers, part two. So we left off here. Now we are going to the email to pull the video that we've created using Zoom. Let's go there. Let's go there. Let's get there real quickly. So what we will do is look at a couple videos that that we've created. Remember, we created the videos using Zoom. And then we email those videos to ourselves on the computer. That is the keynote. Email your videos to yourself on your computer, which allows you to access them on your phone to download them. One piece that I would give you, which we didn't touch on in the first video, is that if you do on a reel, it's probably going to be 30 seconds tops. So I would, my recommendation would be just to go ahead and clip it. I clip it for 30 seconds because I use it as a reel, but I also send my other video to myself three to four minutes because that also goes to YouTube. So remember, we're using those in tandem. Once you clip your video in the 30 seconds, you need to listen to the video because your title, your title is going to be in that conversation. You want to listen to the whole video itself from a three to four minute span and really listen to what your audience is going to gravitate towards. For myself, I do a lot of videos on relationships, whether they be romantic, on a personal level, on a professional level, interpersonally with relatives, romantically with spouses, girlfriends, or, or like I said before, families. So I listen for the different statements that I would share and the explanation that will resonate with my audience because I'm in enough conversations. I listen and I will give you this master key that listen for the need of your audience. Don't create content that is appealing to you because it's, it's your passion, right? But you got to listen to the need of your audience. And because I have a private practice, a lot of the needs that I get from my clients, I can elaborate on and still keep the information in a place of confidentiality, but many people are having the same problem. So I create content around the problems that's identified in conversation and the need that's voiced by my audience. Let's download this. So let's see. We'll download the, the healthy and the unhealthy clip. So that's saved to my camera, my camera roll on my iPhone. Let's get out of here. Now we're going to go back to Facebook to create the reel. So now if you notice, I am in my Marcus Cage page. I'm in my Marcus Cage page. I'm not in Mr. Cage. Mr. Cage is the business profile. Marcus Cage is my personal page. There's a difference when you create in a reel when your personal page versus your business page. Because when you create in your business page, you are able to add music to it. And that is a key note. You want to have music that's relative to what's taking place in the now. As far as an instrumental, in addition to your content, to grab the attention of your audience. Sometimes you can still get numbers. Your reel will still do numbers without the music, but it's based on your content and if, if it resonates with your audience. All right, so you can see this is the reel, the 22 second one. We can determine if this relationship is healthy or unhealthy. Now keep in mind. So let me now keep in mind. This is the reel that we downloaded from the email using the let me turn the volume up this is the email that we downloaded the video that we downloaded from the email but we using my personal YouTube and I'm sorry my personal Facebook page which is not going to allow us to add music 
So let's do the captions. So you hit CC. And it's automatically going to transcribe for you. So once you're done with the, the transcribing process, go ahead and play. Oh, for one second. Sometimes we look at the relationship. So what I do is I like for mine to be up top. It's your preference. So people can see as I'm talking, and then you want to hit save. I save all of my reels because my reels go from my phone to YouTube as a short. That's one other keynote. If you got a YouTube page, you can use it as YouTube as a short because the attention span is, as you can see, has been conditioned to be less. So people like to get what they need to get and continue on about their day or continue to watch some more of your content. So I take my content from the the phone to YouTube to TikTok to Instagram. All right, so this process is done. So all you do is hit done. You go to next. And this is one other key point, too. So your title, again, is going to come from you listening to the three to four minute clip. And you're going to once you hear a title in a natural organic conversation that resonates with your audience, you want to type you want to type that out. You want to type that out. You can do it on your phone or your computer, but you want to send it to yourself via email or this is what I do. Share with you what I do. Let me get out of this. I type a lot on my notes. So as you can see, everything is already set up for me. And these are three different videos that was created. So I'm thinking if I can remember, this was the one with the, the so this is one of the first steps we must take to determine the relationships we're in is healthy. I've already typed that out. I already have my hashtags. I'm going to do a copy and a paste move. Bam. Let's get out of there. We're going to go back to FB. I'm going to go back. Uh, let me discard. That's okay. Sometimes things happen. We can determine if this relationship. I'm right back at where I need to be. Copy, paste, boom, hit done, share real. This is part two. The completion, how to create reels that do numbers. Part three coming up soon.